Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. For the past year, I've been cooking on the South Fresco 42-inch grill and just going wild with it. And um, you know, there's just so many different ways to use it. Uh, the regular gas burners. I mean, I've been using the Hellfire infrared burner, torquing things up to 1,800 degrees on that thing. Um, I've been using the solid fuel insert. It's been well documented on the web. You've seen the videos cooking with lump coal and wood and foregoing gas which has got no taste and no smell and you know I'm not into it anymore so um, uh, using the incredible rotisserie the integrated commercial rotisserie and using that in conjunction with the smoking uh, box that they have uh, to do smoke tissing and uh, open fire rotisserie roasting cooking um, where we use the rotisserie above the solid fuel insert so it's just like it's a complete uh, you know, myriad of ways to uh, to, 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 to just attack um, your cooking with this with this grill. It's truly a, an incredibly versatile tool. Um, but but there was one one device, one product which I had, but I had neglected to use it, and it actually may be the coolest out of everything so far that I that I've touched, and that's the steamer fryer. Uh, attachment insert I don't know what it's actually really called um, uh, this allows you to either steam or fry on the uh, on the grill they also talk about using it as a pasta um, you can boil pasta and it's a boiler or whatever I mean I'm not going to use it for that I'll boil my pasta inside but it's a steamer and a fryer so what we did um, uh, last week I decided, I went down to Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. They had some beautiful, beautiful, you know, jumbo uh, shrimp. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm looking at these over here. And Christmas Eve is coming up. And that's always been, you know, my family does this big uh, Sicilian feast of the fishes on, on Christmas Eve. And fried shrimp has always been a, a staple of that menu. So I said, let's do a little pregame here, a little pre-Christmas uh, Eve action. I'm going to fry those shrimp. So I brought the shrimp home and Nick was like, all right, let's get this going. Um, so she breaded them up and um, I put the, uh, um, the basket, which is technically what it really is, into the grill with um, canola oil. And in about, uh, you know, seven minutes, we were at temperature. You want this thing to be at about 350 to 375 and uh, loaded the basket up with shrimp and um, put it in and off they went frying away uh, by the time i pulled them out and a few a few minutes later i don't know five minutes or so if that um, they were a beautiful beautiful golden uh, hue and um, they tasted damn good now here's the cool thing and this is where wifey gets involved over here and why she loved it she said to me jonathan this is so practical this may be the most practical thing out of the seven girls that are in the yard right now this may be the most practical thing that you have used because it affects her on the inside this is the reason why she wants to fry she doesn't want to do it regularly for the kids but there are certain things that my children love that are pretty simple to make i.e chicken fingers um, uh, things of that nature. My wife likes making eggplant parmesan, um, uh, you know, French fries, things of that nature. The, the, the list goes on and on. But she can't do it. She doesn't want to do it because when you fry in the kitchen, it's just too makes way too much of a mess. She says, Jonathan, now we can do some frying. It stays outside. We bring it in. All we're doing is basically eating. Um, there's no cleanup involved whatsoever. And if you actually have the outdoor kitchen set up with the sink and this and that, you can go clean everything out there and then bring it in and then just load it into your dishwasher or whatever it is. So the, um, so the, the fact that you're the idea of taking the fryer outside now just keeps the kitchen clean. And also, and also, and I could testify to this because uh, when we make our Sunday sauce, you know, and again, another Italian staple, and she fries the meatballs and the sausage. Yes, it's a heavenly smell, but it also sticks around the house for hours and hours and hours. And after a while, come two, three o'clock in the afternoon, I don't want to smell fried meatballs anymore. Um, that's all done outside the house now. 
okay? I mean, now that I'm thinking about this, she can technically make her meatballs in the kitchen and we can go fry them outside now and then bring them in and just throw them into the sauce. So not only are you freeing, you're freed up from a mess in the kitchen, you're freeing up the odors as well by taking the frying outside. Now I haven't even tried to steam on it yet, but I saw a beautiful red snapper last week. It started giving me visions of Veracruz, uh, red snapper a la Veracruz, which I had in Mexico many years ago. And I'm thinking that I'm going to go steam a red, uh, a red, yeah, a red, a red snapper in the style of the, the Veracruz uh, folks. Um, that may be my first steamed attempt, but. Right now, it's about the fryer because that's what I've used it for. Think about all the different things you can do with that. The chicken tenders, you can do french fries, you can do eggplant parmesan, you can do fried ice cream, you can do shrimp tempura. Um, the list simply goes on and on and on. And I appreciate that it's hopefully not going to be something you're going to be doing every night because you don't want your arteries to explode and clog up and explode on you. But it definitely just, again, adds another element to your cooking arsenal that just getting another grill is not going to allow for, okay? So um, check out the longer blog post, the, vid um, the videos, the pictures. There is one video on there. And again, um, I, I feel like I'm going on this journey over here as I continue to find new uses for the grill. It's incredible. Um, so as I discover things, I will share them. Um, please contact me if you have any questions. And again, you've seen the, uh, the scroll at the bottom of the screen. We ship alfresco grills across this country, alfresco outdoor kitchens, whatever it may be, whether it's one grill um, or it's an entire outdoor kitchen, we can help. We would love to assist. And uh, the price is a damn right. Don't worry about that. So um, please contact me, jonathanocurtos.com, or just call up and ask for Senor Smoke, as many people do, and um, I'll be here to assist. Thank you very much, and looking forward to a great 2017. Lots of grilling and smoking and searing, and now frying ahead of us. Thank you.